And I'm drinking sparkling water today because I'm fancy like that. <laughs> Everybody and welcome to this episode of the Lovebird Lane vlog. I am here. I'm here a week later. I'm on time this week. <laughs> and um, because I'm feeling fancy, I'll put a bit of bright lipstick on. Why not? Um, and I am here with not very much to talk about, to be honest. Um, I've been working on two projects only this week. I have completed one and uh, it probably won't be the one that you're expecting <laughs> but before we go any further i just want to say i know my hair is a complete mess please don't judge me i do have a hair appointment next week i'm probably going to have a little bit of a restyle uh but yes um it is looking bad <laughs> uh, i don't quite know what to do with it because the back is getting so long it's flopping backwards instead of staying forwards when i style it so yes i just have to deal with it at this point in time for another week until I can go and get it cut. I mean, I could change my appointment, I suppose, but who really wants to go to all that effort? <laughs> and I am also wearing my new Winter's Beach cardigan, if you have not recognized it quite yet. It's a little bit cooler today. It's only supposed to go to 21 degrees as the high. I thought, why not put it on? Um, most of the day I have been, this is a sleeveless top. I have been getting around with just the top on, uh, but yeah, the, occasionally the breeze is coming through and it's getting a little bit chilly. So I thought, why not wear the cardigan on the vlog this week? <sighs> and if you follow me on Instagram, there's that saying again. And if you're on my mailing list, you would have seen the message yesterday that I am beginning to pull back a little bit from Lovebird Lane um, because I have so much going on in my personal life at the moment with the house hunting and all of that kind of thing. Um, I think some people didn't either didn't read my post or didn't read it properly, but um, I'm not actually bought a house yet. We are in the process of... Um, shortlisting and um, getting our financial things put together and all that kind of thing so that we can purchase a house but because that takes so much energy and time I have been uh, I have decided to uh, avoid overwhelming myself because you know that's something that I'm always worried about is overwhelming myself because that's when I have mental breakdowns and get depressed and I'm no good to anybody. Uh, I have decided to pull back a little bit from Lovebird Lane. I will still be making things here and there, dyeing yarn, um, uploading a few things, but I'll ha I won't be having official updates and things like that. So that's just pretty much so I can keep things under control, keep my mental health good and uh, have enough time to focus on um, those personal things like decluttering and selling things and um, getting all my financial documents together and all of that kind of stuff, um, going to the inspections for the houses and putting in offers and communicating with different people. So I'm also an introvert, so I don't like communicating with people if I can help it. Um, if I could sit here on my own at home all day and just see my husband and my dog and my bird, I'd be in incredibly happy. Uh, so yeah, all of that kind of got leaving the house and phone calls and emails and things like that, it just it gets a little bit much sometimes. I have a quick sip of drink. And I'm drinking sparkling water today because I'm fancy like that. <laughs> and... That's pretty much because I don't drink alcohol anymore. I'm a teetotal, so that is my fancy drink. <laughs> it's pretty sad, I know, isn't it? I don't really drink soft drink. It's very, very rare. I drink soft drink. It's sparkling water is kind of it. Whew, what else is there to talk about? I did a big rearranging of... I did, I've done a lot with my plants this week, actually, because along with my mental health, I have been a little bit, like... My, my, my priorities have been a bit scattered lately, so especially with this house thing and... I haven't been looking after my plants as well as I should have. So I went through the other day and I did a big uh, chopping of long, long vines and I did a bunch of propagating. I shared a photo on Instagram and um, I might pop it in over me now so that you can see it. And I also have done a cull. I've gone through and picked a whole bunch of plants that I'm going to on sell. Uh, I'm just trying to decide how I'm going to do that, whether I'm going to do it in my plant groups or Facebook Marketplace or hold just like a de-stash plant sale where people can come all at the same time and take them away. Uh, that'll probably... Yeah, I don't know. I don't know what I'm doing. Um, I'm trying to think of what is the least labour-intensive way of getting rid of everything, but we'll see. Um, my energy level is actually quite good today, but I'm feeling a little bit huffy, like I'm sighing a lot during this recording. 
I'm probably cutting them out, but I am sighing a lot. <laughs> I um, have officially, um, this is probably going to be mostly blather up front, let me just, just warn you, because like I said, I don't have a lot of projects to talk about. Uh, I've really set my mind to getting myself healthy now as well. Um, I've been carrying far too much weight for far too long. And now that I am on my thyroxine and my energy levels are coming back and all of that good stuff, uh, I've decided to finally uh, work on my health. Oh, sorry, that was sneeze. That's why that word went strange at the end then. <laughs> um, yeah, so I've decided to finally work on my health and try. I don't want to be this size in my 40s. So um, I'm taking this, I'm only a year and a half away from being 40, so... Um, I am now deciding that I'm going to finally take it seriously because lately I have, uh, even with my increased energy levels, just I've, I've gained a bit of weight prior to getting my thyroxine sorted and things like that. And um, I, I've been finding I've really gotten to my max that I really just can't move well. I can't do as much as I want to do in a day. So I've upped my exercise. I've done started weight training and I have also gone back to Weight Watchers, which is something that I haven't done for a very, very long time. Um, I have been on and off over the years, but I was never very serious about it. Back in the day, um, back when I was probably in my early 20s, I think it was probably about 2003, 2004. Uh, I lost uh, probably I think 20 -ish kilos or more on on Weight Watchers um, and uh, I'll put in a photo so you can see me young and thin um, <laughs> uh, so yeah back then it gave me a lot of success and I thought well I need to really reevaluate the way I eat and although I don't agree with low fat diets um, I am working with the Weight Watchers point system. We'll see how it goes. Uh, I did find there was a deal over Easter where you could sign up and get 40% off your monthly rate for six months. So that's what I did. Uh, and I think it's about $22 a month uh, that I'm paying. So it's not too, too bad. I didn't really want to pay any money, but I figure it's better than $40 a month. Uh, so we'll give it a try for six months, see what happens. Hopefully it will be good. Um, but yeah, that's also where I'm kind of at at the moment. I'm focusing on my health. I'm focusing on houses. I'm focusing on my plants. There's just so many things happening that I am just, I don't know which way I'm going most days. <laughs> I'm getting pulled all these different directions and yeah, I'm just trying to do my best through it all. I currently have a sale on at the moment, 20% off everything in store and there's no code needed for that or anything. It will just automatically work in the checkout process and I will be adding some more things probably next week. I don't think I'll get to it today. So, you know, if you want to hold out. Um, <laughs> but uh, yeah, I mean, next week will be when most of you see this anyway. It's only my patrons who will see this for the weekend. So, uh, but yeah, I'm trying just to get rid of some stock that I've got on hand just so that it's less for me to have to worry about when I move. And um, I'm going to have to do a huge de-stash of my personal fabric and yarn as well. So I don't know how I'm going to arrange that. Um, I don't really feel like listing a bunch of stuff on, on my website so it's possible that I will hold some kind of de-stash sale somehow I don't know for my local Adelaide people somehow um, but that's all in the future that's not something I'm worrying about right this instant <laughs> but I guess maybe I should stop just blathering on just this stream of consciousness you can see what goes on in my brain every day right this is this is why i suffer from anxiety is because of all this crap going on in my brain and now a truck has pulled up out the front of my house and he's probably going to see me with my ring light on talking to a camera so that's slightly embarrassing but we'll see how we go <laughs> all right so craft wise let's start with what i have finished like i said i have only actually worked on two different projects this week and uh, one of them is finished, which is my shawl, my Wellerman shawl, which I actually finished this morning. Um, so it is a complete shawl <laughs> and it's going to be very, very hard to fit in in the frame because it's very, very big and um, it will likely get bigger because I can feel how much tension is in this and it really just wants to relax. So like I said, I finished it this morning um, and my little 
Progress Keeper is still on it there, so you can see how much I've done this morning. That triangle I have completed. Um, and yeah, it really does need a block because I can feel that it wants to relax out and um, get nice and big. So I might give it a bit of a wash this afternoon. Um, but yeah, I'm really, really pleased with it. And I ended up only using three skeins of yarn. Uh, and I am in love with this colorway, so I've decided that this will go in the shop at some point when uh, I am up and running again. Because so, you can clearly see it's very different to my um, cardigan color. It's definitely a more of a pink, that's a brown. So I figure it's, it's different enough. And um, it's very much almost a mauve, I have to say. It's kind of a mauve pink color. So... Um, yeah, hopefully you can see the detail there of the, let me peer around, see if I can see. Yes, so you can see the cables there, you can see those, um, I think they're supposed to be like branches, those pointy arrow shapes. And yeah, I'm thrilled with it. I'm really, really pleased with it. And I counted, uh, today, I think it took me nine days to knit. So it was not a very... Um, long knit I have to say although I have been working on it quite a bit because I really enjoyed the knitting process on this um, by the time I'd gotten past all those issues that I had with the cast on and things like that I began to kind of um, virtually just memorize the pattern and know what was coming and just I would occasionally check back to the charts just to make sure I'm on track and um yeah so basically this was all knit from memory <laughs> um but yeah i'm thrilled with it i'm really really happy with it i think it's gorgeous and um this is definitely going to get a bunch of wear um this winter so i need to give this a wash and uh yeah um i will obviously take glamour shots to put on the instagrams and the only other thing that i have been working on is my picket pick picket picket my picket socks and um, my picnic blanket socks so I did do quite a bit on these last week I think when you saw them last week I was I had just finished this seersucker section here so I've done the rest of my leg put in my heel and I have started on the foot so from here it's going to be pretty well clear sailing um, until I get down to the toe so this is probably the next thing I might be working on, like to really focus on it to get it done. So you might see a finished pair of socks next week. And uh, I do have, like I said, might as well put this down because there's nothing else really to say. I think you've seen everything um, about those socks over the weeks that I have uh, been sharing them with you. Uh, but I have a leftover skein because I dyed four skeins of the yarn that was in my shawl so I'm unsure whether I'm going to go straight to Simon's cardigan as my main project uh, along with the socks or whether I'm going to potentially cast on something little with that last skein because it is balled up I'm looking at it over there in my basket with in my craft area um, my lounge room knitting area and yeah I'm thinking I might make a hat or something with that leftover ball so I haven't had a look yet uh, for a pattern um, but I think that might be what I do next just so that I can use up that ball of yarn and not having it floating around um, so yeah that might be what I do next so <laughs> you will see it next week but really for now that's kind of it that's all I've got to talk about um, I've done a bunch of blather up the front so you pretty much know everything that's going on in my life right now and yeah this is it I'm done which is nice it won't take me very long to edit so <laughs> thank you so much for joining me this week if you have any questions or comments please leave them down below as always the show notes are in the description along with links to my Patreon and my other two YouTube channels, one of which still does not have any content on it, <laughs> but I'm hoping it will soon. Um, so yeah, until next week, happy knitting, happy crafting, and I'll catch you in the next one. Bye.